Hello everybody, I'm the Tomeister, and I'm once again collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a tutorial on integrating oil production into your industries chain. Oil production is a vital part for many different types of factories. For this tutorial, the only thing that's required is the industries DLC. So let's jump right into it. Like every other type of industries, you first want to place down your main building as well as barracks to house your workers. Once you've placed those two down, you're then ready to start extracting oil from the ground. This is done with either oil pumps or drilling rigs. There are both small and large oil pumps or drilling rigs, and you can place these down depending on how much oil production you're going to need. Don't be shy on placing enough extractor buildings as surplus oil can always be stored in crude oil storage tanks. If you have a very large demand for oil extraction, you can even place down an offshore drilling rig. Also keep in mind that your oil fields will eventually dry up and become depleted. That's why it's very important to have enough oil storage. Now that we've covered crude oil extraction and storage, let's head on over to our processing buildings where I'm going to show you how to process your crude oil in order to make various products for your factories. There are in fact two different products that can be made using oil production, and those are plastics and petroleum. Just for an example, let's look at this oil refinery here and see what we need in order to make it run. Now in order to produce fuel, which is the end result of the oil refinery, we need both plastics and petroleum which is made by converting crude oil into one of the two. We also need ore, but we're gonna get into that in another tutorial. Now in our oil industries menu, we have two buildings that are capable of making plastic and two that are capable of making petroleum. These both take crude oil that's been extracted from the ground and create one of these two products. So let's first jump into the oil sludge pyrolysis plant. This is the smallest of the two buildings that create petroleum. The larger petroleum producing building is called a waste oil refining plant. It essentially does the same thing as an oil sludge pyrolysis plant, except it'll convert much larger quantities of crude oil into petroleum. So again, depending on how much oil production you anticipate using, you can decide on whichever one of these two buildings you're going to need. And honestly, there is no problem with placing down both. Now let's get into producing plastics. Plastics are a vital element in different factories in the industry's DLC, such as this car manufacturing plant. Among many different types of products that we need to produce cars, plastics is a very important one. Similar to the petroleum plants, there are two different buildings that are capable of producing plastics. The first one is a petrochemical plant, and this building will produce plastics in smaller quantities. Now the second and larger plastic producing building is a naphtha cracker. This, again, similar to the waste oil refining plant, will produce larger quantities of plastics. So we've now covered all aspects of oil production, that being extraction, processing, and storage. Now I just want to show you a little tip that I follow in order to manage my resources to make sure I'm producing enough and not too much. In order to view how well your oil industry is doing, you can click on any oil production building and click on the Industry Area Info panel on the bottom right. In this panel, you can view how efficiently your oil production is going, and you can also view how profitable your plant is. This is just some data that I like to check once in a while to make sure that everything is going good. With all that being said, you now have all the tips and tricks to go produce a massive oil refinery to bring many jobs and profitability to your city. Also be sure to subscribe to the City Skylines channel for many more tutorials just like this one to come from your favorite City Skylines creators.